I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Now, we're not going to be doing any shooting today. In fact, we're going to be unboxing a tool. That's right. It, it can be used by anybody that is doing anything like uh, cutting wood for splitters uh, in forestry. This is used in forestry. So what we're going to do is we're going to look around here to see if I can jam this thing into something uh, to show you what it will do. In fact, I've got to unbox it yet here. I've got this one right here. It's put out by a company called uh, Anthurium. Right there, you can see it right there. Uh, and we're going to take a look at this. I'd already taken the other box off. It got left out in the rain by the delivery person. Uh, it's an odd looking thing. I knew what it was going to look like. It looks like it's a doggone beak from a hawk or something, really. Um, let's see if I can get this unwrapped. You do it kind of strange like. Yep. That come out pretty good. Now, what this thing does, it's got good weight to it. And they got different lengths of these, by the way. Uh, this is a shorter one. Now, those of you that know what I do, uh, I also work for a conservation department. And I do a lot of the trail taming and the tree work of all sorts, planting and cutting down and moving things. And that's what this thing is for, is moving like a log. If you got that, you don't have to go and pick it up and get it next to you and get out. You just jam this thing in there like that, I hope. We're going to find out. And, uh, well, what do you say? Instead of keep talking about this thing, it's got, like I said, very good weight. If it was an axe, I'd be throwing it. But uh, let's find a log somewhere that's around one of my trails here at Cedar Oaks, and we'll see what we can do with it. Okay. I'm going to go down this way a ways. See if we can find. Something over there I might be able to do with. We've got two different trails here. A green one. They come up this little hill. I don't use this one a lot. So. Let me get around here and we'll try to see what I can do with this thing. You can see the log I'm talking about. Uh, we'll see how this thing does with it. In fact, there's a, like a deer skull right by it. Okay, you're supposed to be able to put this in there like that and pull it up and out of the way, if you can. And so, it's pretty soft down here though. I don't think I can hook it in good. Nope. So, hopefully I'll be able to show you. You can see what a wooded area I've got. There we go. See, now if I'm going to move that, it makes it a lot easier to move. I can take it and drag it if I want. We'll see how far I can drag it this way. It's pretty rotten. But as you go down like this, this goes down. I don't know if you can see that. This head goes against that and the hook comes up so it makes it so you can drag this right out of the way but as I said you can see how rotten it is and if I want to I can take it that way and pick it up I'm actually going to put this thing back in place so you get to see me do it again this this really I mean it really embedded into this thing hard and now I'm going to take it again this way. There. You can see what it does. It makes it a lot easier than picking it up. And if you've got chunks of wood that you're putting into your chipper, you can take that thing and whack it right on down in. Okay, they give you an idea of what this thing does. I'm going to show it to you up close. It's what they call a hooker room. <laughs> I, how they got the name of it, I don't know, but it does have one heck of a hook on it. And I'll show it to you. Here we go. You can see that that's like a beak on an eagle or a seagull or anything that's going to grab something. It's sharpened. It's well sharpened. That thing just... You got some logs to pick up or anything like that? You just put that thing in and you got yourself a handle. You can it's got a real good grip too, by the way. I wanted to tell you that. Here. That is a rubberized grip. So you don't have to worry about a lot of slipping. This thing looks like it's gonna work pretty good. In fact, I'm probably gonna take it to work 
and uh, use it for some of my forestry work. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of blinking.